Engineers at Fukushima Daiichi are working on the first phase of an amphibious plan to stop the flow of radioactive water. They've started the operation to build a massive ice wall underneath the site, but the project is being met with concerns from the public over its safety. NHK World's Noriko Okada explains. Engineers have begun the first task in a massive project to construct an ice wall at the plant. They've started digging tunnels for pipes that will be used to inject coolant. This is an important step to reduce the amount of contaminated water. We will carefully conduct this operation. Once completed, frozen soil will stretch about 1.5 kilometers around crippled reactor buildings. They will use some of the 400 tons of groundwater that flows beneath the facility every day from nearby mountains. Crews will insert pipes into the soil and constantly run coolant through them. The aim is to hold back groundwater, preventing it from seeping into buildings, where it becomes contaminated. Officials expect to stop almost all groundwater from getting in once the wall is completed. But the project's efficiency has sparked a debate. Critics point out the high cost and the risks. They argue there has been no precedent to build an ice wall of this scale and length. The wall is expected to last decades. Japan's nuclear regulation authority will be carefully monitoring the wall's construction. We need to verify if it really works or not. We also must study to make sure the ice wall does not have a further impact on the entire situation. The regulator has asked Tokyo Electric Power Company executives to gather and file more information proving the plan will work. Last month, engineers conducted a test on a smaller scale. They filled pipes with minus 30 degrees Celsius coolant, creating an underground wall. Company officials say the experiment was a success. We have confirmed a shielding effect by the construction of a frozen wall. They aim to start freezing soil by next March. But officials with the country's nuclear regulator haven't authorized the entire plan yet. They are still trying to find out if there is any negative impact that the wall of ice will have on the environment. Noriko Kada, NHK World.